the demand for a commodity in the market is generally assumed to depend on the price of the commodity we learned that a relationship is established between demand and price and it can be expressed mathematically now apart from price the quantity demanded of a good also depends on the income of the consumers and a positive relationship can be established between income and quantity demanded that is if income increases the quantity demanded will increase in such a situation if we wish to find the rate at which the quantity demanded is changing a simple derivative will not be sufficient this is because price and income independently have an effect on the quantity demanded suppose demand is a function of price and income in order to find the effect of price on the quantity demanded we have to keep income constant and in order to find the effect of income on the quantity demanded we have to keep the price constant these effects are studied by using the concept of partial differentiation if this is the function where y is the dependent variable and x1 and x2 are the independent variables the effect of x1 on y is given by del y by del x1 note that we now use the symbol del this term is called the partial derivative of y with respect to x1 similarly the effect of x2 on y is given by del y by del x2 this term is called the partial derivative of y with respect to x2 at this point it would be beneficial to distinguish between a derivative and a differential there is a very thin line of distinction between a differential and a derivative in the previous function if we wish to find the total effect of x1 and x2 on y then in mathematical language we actually want to find out the total differential of the function and the process of finding the total differential is called total differentiation mathematically total differential is given by dy suppose there is a production process that uses two inputs labor and capital this situation may be expressed mathematically as q is equal to f of lk where q is the units of output to be produced l is units of labor and k is the units of capital What is the independent effect of a change in labor and capital on the output? Economically, the effect of a change in labor on the output is known as the marginal product of labor. and the effect of a change in capital on the output is known as the marginal product of capital can you write the mathematical expression for the total effect of labor and capital on the output